Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will be covering two topics. One is chains in Langchain, another is streaming in Langchain. So first is like, I'll explain how we can build the chains in Langchain. And the second topic is how we can stream the response which we get from the LLMs immediately. When you do chain.invoke, the complete response is captured at, at once and then that response is printed. Instead, we can see how we can stream the response like token by token or each word immediately once the LLM has generated. We'll see that. So let, let's first see what is chains. Okay. Here I'm using chart open AI because uh, I'm using Langchain open AI module using chart open AI because this is how we can query the LLM. This is the model. When you do model dot invoke, you can ask anything. Now here I'll tell you how I am building a simple chain here. If you see first I'm building a prompt. To build a prompt in Langchain, you have to use this class chart prompt template dot from template and you have to give the prompt. So in this prompt, we are telling like tell me a joke about a topic and the topic we will pass while we are invoking it. Not now. So I, we have just kept it as a string formatting here and we'll pass it while we are invoking. That's it. And now if you see, I'm building a chain here. First, I got the prompt and then I have given the pipe symbol and then I'm giving the model. That means the first prompt gets executed. So first this gets executed and whatever the output we get from it will be passed to the model here. Model means this one. So that's how we build the chain. So this pipe is used to build a chain of runnables or a chain of actions. So first this and whatever the output pass it to the next one, whatever the output pass it to the next one like that. So here if you see, I'm just building a very simple chain prompt and a model alone. Now I'm using the chain dot invoke of the topic, whatever the topic I have string formatted here, I'm just passing. So I'm asking to give a joke about a marriage, tell me a joke about marriage. That's it. So chain dot invoke. Now what happens is this topic will be, this topic will be replaced with the marriage. That's it. And it will understand like, tell me a joke about marriage and this prompt gets filled and this will be passed to the model and the model generates the output. And the output, if you see, will be like this. So the model generated output will be have a lot of things. If you see a message, the actual content is what the joke it has generated and then additional quarks and the response metadata, number of tokens, all this unwanted data. So I don't want all this unwanted. I want only content. So we have another method in Langchain called str output parser. What it does is it reads this complete content, which LLM has generated and only fetches the content alone from it, only the content alone and parses it as a string. That's it. So I, I can build a chain like this now prompt, the same prompt, which we have created the model and then the str output parser class. When you do this, the first, the prompts gets executed, the output will be passed to the model and the model output will be passed to this class so that Inside this class, it just reads only the content. It does not need all the uh, unwanted information. So when you do chain dot invoke the topic, because we have formatted the topic should be marriage. And this marriage value will be stored here. And then the output will be like this. We will, we have lost all the unwanted information now. So this is how we can build a simple chains in Langchain. I'll show you how we can build even more complex chains and how, how we, we can add runnables. If you see, for example, let's say we wanted to compose a joke generation chain, which we have created above with another chain that evaluates whether or not the generated joke is funny. So one chain, the first chain will generate the joke and another chain or runnable will evaluate that. So let's see how we can do this. If you see, we have created another prompt to create a prompt in Langchain. We have to use chart prompt template dot from template and the context, which we want to give is this joke uh, funny. Can you please rate out of 10? and the joke. This is the sex prompt. So now if you see what we are doing is this is a compose chain. I've named it as a compose chain. And in this chain, what are we doing is first we are calling a chain. That means this one we will just call this exactly. We, we have a joke as a key and a chain as a value. So what happens is th this will become a dictionary and the output of the chain, which is above will be kept under here as a value and the key will be joke. So this will be pass it to the analysis prompt and in the analysis prompt, we have a string formatting called joke. So whatever the uh, value will be, whatever the response or whatever the data, which is this one will be replaced here. And then that prompt will be passed to the model 
and the model output will be again passed to the string output parser because we don't want unwanted information like all whatever we have here in the model response we want only the required information so we have built another chain if you see here this chain has first it has one chain in build it has a chain which we have created above and then that is passed to the another prompt a model and the model output is passed to here so when you do compose chain dot invoke of topics of marriages what will happen is when it as the first one is a chain and this needs a variable called topic so it this marriages marriage gets replaced here and it generates it triggers this chain and it will get some output like this and that output will be passed to analysis prompt model and str output parser that's it that is how we can build even more complex chains so here we have two chains first chain and the second chain combined so we call it as a compose chain that's it so there is another way which we can even do that here if you see we are using a normal dictionary here instead of using a normal dictionary we can use a runnable as well if you see this is just a simple chain what we are doing tell me a joke it expects a value in this topic at the run time and i have built a chain which i have explained above and i have built analysis prompt it will just the prompt is just saying like is this joke funny and it and it expects a value here under the joke so now if you see we are building a complex chain or a composed chain with lambda if you see the first chain gets called so the chain output will be passed here so on and so forth so when you trigger this one it we are passing in a uh, value called topic and its value is marriage so what happens is the first chain expects this topic so this marriage value will be passed to this chain and it 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 generates some output and that output we are using runnable this is called runnable runnable is nothing but a small piece of uh, executable code which we can integrate within the chain that's it some kind of some we can in in runnable we can have some not only just the lambda uh, function or we can have some custom function and we can call that function as well so i mean we some kind of some executable code between this chain is called runnable that's it so now if you see this chain uh, will have this this chain expects this topic which we got it while we are invoking it and then the output of this if you see we are calling a lambda so what this lambda does is this the output of this chain will be kept under input and we are making a dictionary in, we are returning a dictionary in this lambda function the key is joke and the value for this key is nothing but the output of this chain and that is passed to the analysis prompt and that is passed to the model and that is passed to the string output so we got the output like this that's it so the same what we have done above instead of directly creating a dictionary we are using a runnable or some lambda function we can call in the layman terms so that's it and not only the pipe we have a method called dot pipe using which we can even build the chain if you see here instead of lambda they have used the runnable parallel so as i said runnable is nothing but some piece of code which we can execute along with other steps inside the chain that's it so we are just creating a if you see we are just invoking the topic as marriage so the first task here is a chain and we are returning a dictionary key is joke and the value is the output of the chain and it is passed to the analysis prompt and inside the analysis prompt they expects a joke here because that's what we have created here inside the analysis prompt they expects the joke and the value of that first chain will be kept here and then the model and then the output parser that's it the same output so these are the different ways using which we can build chains in lang chain the first one is a basic chain and if you want you can even make more complex chains like uh, you, you creating a dictionaries are using uh, lambda functions are using some runnable parallel and all this thing this is how we can build the chains so the next topic is how we can stream the data using lang chain so when you ask something to a llm it returns the response so it takes some time to return the response and it it generates the output token by token it does not return the complete uh, paragraph or the answer it returns in, in one go it generates word by word that's how the llms work it generates a word by word so now if you want to stream the data immediately a word is generated then you can go with the uh, 
uh, stream in lang chain so let's see how we can go with the stream in lang chain now if you see this is kind of a batch run if you see here when you run it the output is of ai message class type and inside the content we have all this right we we saw it in the previous videos also we to trick to ask anything to llm we can use the model dot invoke of some question see the complete output is generated because we have used invoke here but now if you see we are just streaming the word by word so i am just streaming the same query and inside the for loop i am just appending whatever the word it has generated and i am just print printing that if you see 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 it has generated word by word right it did not generate in a single go like the above one it's kind of a batch above and it's like streaming we are generating word by word so it first generated the word the then color of the we are just uh, appending it with the pipe that's it so and also if you see the output when you just print any uh, one letter if you see the output is ai message chain type here and the output is ai message type here and inside this you'll have the whole text and here you have only few words and again if i put chunk of 3 uh, i'll get different value of this one 5 i got sky when i put 6 i got ken so with this we can easily conclude that the llm is generating the output word by word and we can stream as it is to stream we have to use model dot stream that's it and then to stream the data using the uh, to stream the data in lang chain from the llm you have two methods one is stream and the second is a stream a stream means asynchronous the same both stream and uh, a stream streams the data in the same way as a, whenever the llm generates a single word it just returns that word which is fine but the major difference is if you have some other task which needs to be executed along with this a stream then you can go with uh, a stream and if you don't have any other dependency of the other task or some other runnable calling then you can go with stream that's it that's the major use this is asynchronous irrespective of anything it just keeps on running and if you want to stream then it waits for the other task to complete the dependent task and then it returns the next uh, set of word or uh, anything that's it and also if you want to stream the json output you can even do that if you see i'm just building a chain model and the output parser we have used above is a string output str output parser and here we are using json output parser because we want the output as a json that's it what i'm telling is output the list of countries these countries with the population count that's it and when you see i'm just building a chain and i'm using asynchronous a stream here when you use a stream you can use async in between in the starting when you use stream you don't need async in the starting but when you use uh, a stream we need as asynchronous keyword in the starting because this should be asynchronous if any parallel task also we can execute that as well both executes parallelly asynchronously that's it so uh, this, this is just a prompt we are just passing to this chain that's it and it generates the output see when i run it first the empty jsons gets created then oh, the first it picks up the france and the france generates then it picks up the other country spain then it picks up the japan like that if you see the output will be see it generate as as soon as it got the response from the uh, llm it it has printed that output so that's where we use the streaming if you want to consume the data from the llms in the real time then we go with streaming that's it thank you so much for watching